This week we had Gamescom, which of course is a huge gaming event. Um, if you're not familiar with what Gamescom is, it's kind of like E3 or Tokyo Game Show, except the European version of those. And they always have it in August or so every year. And they had some big game announcements. But the biggest thing they had, of course, was the Xbox event. Microsoft announced all kinds of things for Gamescom. Did you read into all the things that they announced? Oh, yeah, I did. So, first of all, the Xbox One X, it finally went up for pre-order. Yeah, and, and sold out almost instantly. <laughs> yeah, which that really surprised me. I, I, me mean, I was surprised at how warm the reception was for that because I wasn't expecting quite the reception that it got, especially when you consider all the people that were talking about it beforehand were kind of bashing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, everyone... Like, when the PS4 Pro came out, how everyone was complaining, like, you're getting, like, a new kind of the original one's life cycle. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people that I know at least were like, yeah, I don't need that. I'm okay with the the PS4 that I already have. I don't need to rebuy a system again. But when it comes to like the Xbox one X, I don't know why, but everyone seems to be having the exact same or exact opposite attitude to it. Right. Which I mean, they're having the exact opposite attitude of what we've seen in practice, but in theory, it didn't look like they were going to have that kind of attitude. They were kind of yeah. dismissive at first. So that was really interesting how that happened. Um, do you have any ideas? What, what was your, what's your theory on that? I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the, because it actually plays 4k Blu-rays and the, uh, PlayStation four pro doesn't. Well, <laughs> I'm yeah. sure that didn't help. I'm sure that helped, but I don't know. Um, maybe a bunch of people that were putting off buying a, an Xbox one to begin with are now figuring Maybe now's the time. Yeah. And the price, honestly, isn't that ridiculous when you consider what it does. Which, I mean, what it does is kind of an interesting question because we do have to consider that a lot of the games that are coming for it are not exclusive games. Yeah. So it's entirely dependent on what the third party developers decide they want to devote to it. And if they decide whether it's worth devoting those resources into a second place platform or not. Yeah. But nonetheless, uh, Team Xbox has definitely stepped up to the plate so far with the One uh, X. Uh, yeah. Not so much for Team Sony, you know, definitely not as loyal, I guess you could say. <laughs> well, but it's like when you see the comparisons to what a game that's going to be optimized for play on that console compared to like what it would look like on a, on a regular xbox one mm -hmm. when you compare what it would look like on the xbox one x compared to what a ps4 regular ps4 game would look like compared to the ps4 pro the one on the xbox one x looks way leaps and bounds beyond the the ps4 or the ps4 pro well i mean what, what games are you talking about specifically i mean i saw i saw the the recore stuff and the recore looks like phenomenal compared to what the standard version looked like yeah well, I didn't actually get a chance to look at that one. I, I thought Recore was fine as it was. It wasn't like, I don't think it was meant to be a graphical powerhouse, to no. be honest. It, it wasn't even like budgeted as such. It was a budget game. I think it was only like $40 when it came out. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, that's what's kind of weird about it, though, is that you have all these gamers that they made fun of the PS4 Pro doing this checkerboarded 4K or whatever. I don't even know what all this means, to be honest. <laughs> I, I, from what I understand, it, it's basically a fancy term for upscaling. Yeah. Um, like, But it's it, 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 it obviously not the best way to put it. There's more to it than that. Like, it is native, but it's not. Whereas upscaling is not native. It's just a straight conversion. So yeah. the, it's, it's almost like there's certain elements that are native, uh, in the resolution and others that are being upscaled, mm -hmm. which I find that's kind of interesting. But uh, I just thought it was funny that they picked Recore of all games to do that. <laughs> yeah, especially when that game didn't sell that well. A lot of the game yeah. announcements that they had were kind of weird, which um, yeah. a few of them I do want to touch in a later segment. Um, which you know we'll get to that. I'm sure you probably know which ones I'm talking about. Yeah, well, don't spoil I'm, it for people. No, no. Uh, but uh, besides um, Recore, they also showed off, of course, Forza 7, which that game just looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
uh, that'll be really interesting to see how that's going to turn out because you also have Gran Turismo Sport, which was also shown out at Gamescom. And that game similarly looks amazing too. And it's also going to have the PlayStation VR support, which that'll be entirely interesting to see how that's going to turn out because um, do, you don't happen to have the VR, I'm guessing, right? Uh, no, I know, I know, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I think I'm literally the only person I know that has the VR that I talk to on a regular I, person. I, don't get me wrong, I want it. I just can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. Which it seems like the price might start coming down on those I hope. because I have seen a couple of bundle deals where they're selling it down to two ninety nine now, which I'm not surprised because the Oculus Rift has started coming down in price. Hmm. So I knew Sony would have to would have to eventually drop the price officially, but they'll probably wait until the holiday season, I would imagine. Yeah. But anyways, uh, it, it, it's really interesting to see that Xbox is doing well, at least according to Microsoft. You never know. This whole pre-order thing selling out in minutes or, or whatever it was. Yeah. It's, it might it, have been it, because it, it they only had... very spinish. <laughs> it, 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 it could be because they only had like 10,000 systems or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> you know, they could be completely... Uh, well, that's that Project Scorpio edition that comes with that stand mm -hmm. and, and is just branded... Project Scorpio edition. There's really nothing different about what the retail version is going to be. Right. I wonder if it's going to have the FPS counter and stuff like the uh, dev kit version. That would be a pretty cool touch. Mm. But yeah, they said it sold out faster than the PS4 Pro, and I'm like, eh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. That'll be interesting to check out for sure. Subscribe to the DP and me on the iTunes. Do now. Get to the chopper. Get cookie down now!